Right, so you have to admit that the audio for those charged shots sounds really bloody nice. Really feel that punch on it. Bang on the money, which is kind of perfect money, right? It's a corpus greedy weapon. This is the Stalta, a corpus fully automatic rifle that also has a secondary fire mode of charging a really powerful shot, which explodes on impact in a seven meter radius. And it is really really powerful i mean i mean it's fair and balanced <laughs> leave it alone nothing to see here move along watch something else high slash damage high crit chance decent fire rate in it punch through on normal shots decent status chance and a good reload speed as well again i repeat myself it is a really good weapon the only real downside for me is that each of those charged up shots costs 20 ammo which means you get two shots per magazine since each one costs 20 and the magazine only has 40 rounds now another minor gripe would be that it has a slow enough charge up speed for those charged up shots just under two seconds but this weapon is a bloody must have now to get your hands on it you will need to farm the new jackal boss fight until the blueprint drops for you or in gb praised that's part one to get the barrel the stock and the receiver you will need to run some of the new granum void missions now i have a video covering these missions already uploaded and linked in this video's description to help you hopefully breeze through them a lot faster the receiver drops from rotation c in tier one of the granum voids the stock drops from tier two and is also rotation c and the barrel drops from tier three and is also rotation c as well in those granum voids so basically maximize your kills in each one of those tiers one two and three until the part you want actually drops now the stalta has a 24 percent crit chance and a 1.8 times crit multiplier on normal shots but on the charged up shots the crit chance jumps up to 40 percent and the multiplier hits 3.0 fucking moving on status chance also jumps up for the charge shots as well now like i said it deals a lot of slash damage but also radiation on those charged shots and a fully automatic fire mode has innate punch through and in all honesty when fully modded will shred through anything that you put in front of it now the charge up shots however is where the real power for this weapon is at combine the weapon's high damage output along with the high critical chance sprinkle in some of those critical mods with hunter munitions combine it with vigilante mods on your sentinel combine it with a warframe that can boost your haste and stick in bladed rounds to increase your damage even higher since you're going to be getting a lot of kills and a lot of crit chances as well and on top of that stick on arcane rage to increase your damage output even more after landing a headshot and you have an absolute beast of a weapon right now it's between this weapon and probably the tomb finger kit gun for best weapon of this update the kind of standout weapons either one could replace your kuva brahma if you're not happy with the brahma's recent changes to ammo and i guess the nerf as well to the cluster bombs but these are solid options for you now this is my build viral again go viral corrosive magnetic whatever you want hunter munitions crit mods bladed rounds is a personal preference put in fire rate mod there if you want pop in a heat mod pop in firestorm because that also works to increase the radius of the explosions vigilante supplies i feel is a must have if you're going to be spamming those charged up shots because 20 rounds because 20 rounds for one shot means it is a hungry hungry hippo and even if you're not going to be using the charged up shots that much and you want it for a fully auto rifle that has a lot of slash damage on it and can shred through enemies with a high fire rate then you will still go through ammo pretty quickly so vigilante mods like i said feels like it's a must have if not then i guess rifle ammo mutation as well that's pretty much it that's the stalta let me know in the comment section below what you think of it it is a really powerful really good weapon like the video or don't subscribe or don't and as always thanks very much for watching